In 2020, I watched a video that changed my life. At a time when I was down, depressed, and damn right crying because I felt completely helpless about not being able to achieve my goals. I was going on nights out, I was in a negative cycle, and everything seemed to be a little bit shit. I was looking for motivation. I was looking at motivational speakers, businessmen, and everybody that I could possibly find that was having success, but I couldn't relate to nobody. I couldn't relate with the guys that were in other countries talking in US dollars all the time. I couldn't relate to some of these trappers and rappers, and I just couldn't relate to some of these Silicon Valley businessmen until I came across a video that inspired me. Bugsy Malone's motivational video absolutely blew my mind. And I'm not really one of those people that will passively watch something. When I watch somebody that's having success, I study them. I study every single meticulous detail. And if that person mentions to do something, I really do do it. So I wanted to make this video to go through a little bit of my story, my experiences, and to express just how inspired I was by Bugsy Malone and to hopefully inspire somebody that was in my exact same position before. So Bugsy Malone, if you ever do watch this, I'd like to say thank you again. You really did change my life. Every single goal that you set, you achieve, and it really does inspire me to keep going. In the past five years, I've gone from being in that dirty, moldy bedroom in Leeds, writing my goals on my wall, doing my ideal person, writing down the ideal car, the ideal partner, the ideal house, the ideal person that I wanted to become. And I achieved every single one of those goals, every single one. I even went through a similar path. Everything fell off the treadmill and I had to restart it again and set new goals. And the goal that I've set now is a legacy. I'm gonna leave my legacy. Me and my team, we're gonna make hundreds of millions of dollars and we're gonna inspire others doing so. I wanna show you some of the key lessons that I learned from Bugsy Malone. If you wanna watch the video, you should watch it below, either now or after the video. And I'm gonna give you some key actions that you can take to follow your dreams too. It doesn't matter whether you wanna be a doctor, a lawyer, an investor, whether you wanna start your own business. These skills are universal, and this is a process that you can go through. Hopefully you can relate to my story and Bugsy's story. It doesn't even matter where you come from. This process is so simple, but the craziest thing is, if you never come across it, you will never realize that you can actually achieve whatever you want to do. So my story started off at university. And at this time when I was going to uni, I was struggling to even spell. I don't know if people, people say dyslexic, whatever. You might even hear, sometimes I pronounce words wrong, but I don't really see it as a bad thing, right? I actually get along with talking. I enjoy these types of things. I even enjoy writing. But because my writing wasn't up to scratch and because the way I pronounce things or, or, or pitch things, wasn't all that good. University was a little bit of a challenge, right? I would put so much work and effort into building out things and I just ended up failing over and over again. I got to my second year, it got real tough and I was about to fail my second year again. At this stage, I'd done a little bit of drop shipping, a little bit of social media marketing. I tried all of these things that people were teaching online and I really was struggling with them, I really was. I then invested every single penny I've ever, <laughs> I ever had at the time, I had about 1.2K. And I spent all of that on mentorship, a suit, and a ticket to London to go to a networking event to meet someone called Imangaji. You guys might know him now, and I actually had an interview with him for being a successful student on his mentoring program, completely verified and making over 100K a year. When I went to that event, I had zero pounds, zero pence. And being there, I got inspired by seeing the other people that were similar age, some people younger, some people older, and they were all having success doing online businesses. At the time around me, there wasn't many people who've had success. I even couldn't afford to get a train ticket back. So I ended up sleeping at the train station. And now my, my current business partner, which is ridiculous, right? At the time, he, we were just friends. He paid for my train ticket home back from London. So I go back from London to Leeds. Then the vid hits and everything goes back to zero again. I was so inspired and then this, 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 this COVID situation happens and I'm in isolation. I'm in a position where not only is everything shut down, there's no more jobs about, there's no more money for my family. My cousin went jail for another 13 years. My dad actually went jail again and my uncles went jail too. So I've got no support network around me. It's coming up to the winter, it's raining. My bedroom starts to get moldy. 
I ring up my landlord and my landlord says to me, Tyro, there's nothing I can do. He's blaming the, the vid situation. Yet he at the time was claiming on all of these properties and getting the 50 grand grant. But he was doing nothing about fixing these properties for people. And I was freezing cold in that apartment because there was mold in there. And not only that, there was no electric. So there was no heating. He, was, he sent me a heater and he said, use that and put that on. Right, and, and deal with it basically. So I had to deal with that. And at the time, I had too much pride to go ask my parents for money. I, I didn't want to ring up my dad, he's already dealing with situations. I didn't want to ring up my mom, she's already dealing with situations, right? So I'm in a position now where it is very tough. Me and my mom even had an issue because I told her that we, I wanted to work online. So times were, times were already family situation, how it goes, right? And then I watched this video from Bugsy Malone. And in this interview, he goes through his whole story and it blows my mind that not a lot of people watch this. It really does. It really does. Even though it's got a few hundred thousand views, that stuff, that video should have millions of views because it is absolutely ridiculous. It goes through his whole story. He talks about how he's in Manchester and he's hanging around with people that he shouldn't be hanging around with. He talks about doing boxing and how having a sport is something that everybody should do and how boxing kept him on, on the straight and narrow. He talks about taking his pain and thinking about his dreams. Uh, he talks about how he used to write down his goals. And this is one thing for you guys, right? He took a tip out of the book called The Secret. And for some reason, this interview cuts off around this point, right? It doesn't go all the way through. You know, I feel like you know, they don't want to reveal all the source. But briefly, he talks about this situation where he writes down the ideal house he wants into meticulous detail. So he doesn't just write down he wants a house. He writes down what color is the house? How big is the driveway? What's it feel like to walk into it? Right? Does he feel safe and secure in that home? He talks about how much it costs, right? He looks into how much it would cost to achieve these things. Then he talks about his ideal life, his career. What's his career like? Well, how do people look up to him? He talks about his partner. He goes into meticulous detail about his partner and his relationships. And he goes into meticulous detail about every single thing that could possibly happen in his ideal future. And a lot of people call this the ideal person. For example, if you're watching this, I want you to just think about your ideal future, your ideal person. Five years from now, 10 years from now, where are you? What are you doing? Are you respected when you enter in a room? What clothes are you wearing? What house are you in? What car are you driving? And go into meticulous detail and all of these types of things. So I literally paused the video and I did it. I wrote down these things. I had two books at the time, right? And I ordered them, I ordered two books. And uh, I put a screenshot up, up here just so you guys can see it. And I wrote down everything. I do house, car, partner, do everything, right? I put a flip on the program that, that I wrote on the blueprint and I had a second book. And in the second book, I vowed to only write down the daily actions I need to take to achieve these things. So I really did look into it. I said, at the time I was doing social media marketing. So I said to myself, right, how many clients do I need to get to achieve this thing? How do I get those clients? What daily actions do I need to do to get those clients? And then every day I just write down these things and just do them. I would go out in the freezing cold rain, I would just run listening to that podcast on repeat. Go through the podcast, it, it's not a podcast, it's an interview. The interview goes into so much detail, right? But the interesting thing is that lit a fire in me. That little, just lit a fire in me, right? And it gave me some, some direction to, to go through. It didn't change straight away. And there, was, there was ups and downs. It got worse, obviously, with the vid situation. I started changing my perspectives. I started to look at things as opportunities. And I went up to that moldy wall and I just looked at it for a bit. I really, really just really sat there. And I'm looking at this thing and I'm looking at this thing is, is poisoning me, first of all, because obviously ingesting that type of thing is toxic. But I thought, you know what? When Bugsy Malone was in that situation, you know, he transurfed this thing. He looked at this negativity and he turned it into positivity and motivation simply by his perspective. So I thought, okay, you know, I'll do the same thing. And uh, in a moment of madness, Right, and a moment of pure insanity, similar to where that McGregor situation goes, where he goes, right, I, McGregor goes, I've gone crazy for this game. Like Leonardo da Vinci, right, I've gone crazy and madness for the game. I thought, well, I'm going to do the same, right? So I went up to the wall and I wrote down my goals. I wrote down 10K per month, e-commerce investor, Tesla, penthouse, freedom, legacy, right? For some reason, I don't know, I've always been drawn to this legacy part. And, and we'll talk about it later, but I've always been, you know, something tells me that my path is there to inspire others and that my path is drawn to a legacy. And bear in mind, guys, this isn't me now, right? This isn't a million dollar portfolio running this investment company, you know, with e-commerce businesses, all, all these things, right? This is not me now. This is me, dead broke, moldy gaff, middle of COVID, no money, landlords treating me like a bitch, right? 
And I'm there looking at this thing from a different perspective and telling myself that I'm going to leave a legacy, right? So I write all these things on the wall. Now, every day I get up, I'm excited to look at that. I'm motivated by it. I look at it and I'm like, I'm, I'm actually excited. I'm enjoying it. I'm like, right, these are my goals. These are the things I'm working towards. And then I took it a step further. So I started reading books and studying things from famous investors, right? Ray Dalio's principles, I actually printed it out. So I went back to uni, right? I'm still there. I've still got my thing, but obviously I know that the work I'm doing isn't the best. So I understand that I'm not going to be staying for another year. I think even people at uni understood that. So it was a bit weird, but I'd still go and use the free technology. I'd go use the printer. I'd go to the book, go to the library and get a book and whatnot. And uh, I printed out Ray Dalio's books, Ray Dalio's principles on PDF. And I put that all over the wall too. And then I started to take notes when I'd listen to podcasts, when I'd listen to people who I wanted to be like, when I'd hear them give tips and to really understand them, I'd write them on a, post-it note, I stick them on my wall and I still do this to this day. I stick them on my wall and it will keep me on the right track. I'd see quotes from Sun Tzu, uh, the art of war, understand yourself, understand the enemy, you'll never be defeated. I'd see quotes, other quotes from Sun Tzu and I would write them down on the wall. Boom, 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 boom. He who speaks does not know, he who knows does not speak, right? I'd write these down. Other quote, singularity of focus. You've got to have a singularity of focus at one thing to become successful, right? So if you want to start a business, and you want to become successful, then you can't do all of these things yet, right? Your ideal person might be doing investments. He might be running different businesses, right? He might have his own successful business. He might be an influencer on the side. You might be inspiring others. You might have a YouTube channel, but you can't get to that stage by starting all of that the same thing. You have to have a singularity of focus on each one. I didn't know that at the time. I learned that, right? And I wrote this down and I thought, okay, you know, all these things I want to achieve, to get there, I need to start at one thing. And I need to do one thing at a time, right? I was like, blew my, I had to re, reprogram my mind. It's a different concept, right? So then I was like, now, and this is why I always have to thank Bugsy Malone for this, because if I didn't write down that ideal person, I wouldn't understand the steps I need to take to become that person, right? I wouldn't understand that I need to get mentorship. I need to look at other people. I need to listen to what they're saying. I need to lower that ego and take action on the, on, on the task that they give me. So now I've got this path laid out. Perfect. I've got it laid out on my wall right? I've got my plan and my goals here, right? I've got my pictures on my Tesla and these type of things that, that I want to get here. Everything's planned out meticulously. I then go into isolation. I stop going out on the weekends. I'm not interested, right? That's not who I want to be. So I'm not going there. I stop speaking to the old friends I used to speak to. So like, look, I've got to do, do these things. If you want to come see me, you can come see me. One person came see me, Arian. He's the only guy that used to pull up on me. You know what I'm saying? He's a G. He's the only guy that used to pull up on me. Everyone else forgot about me. You know what I mean? Now I'm in isolation. It's so much easier to focus. I've got all day. No one's ringing my phone. No one gives a shit, right? There's no extra, there's no commitments. I've stopped going to birthday parties. I've stopped even messaging family at one stage. I just went dark, right? And now it was easy. I had all this time to work with. So I got mentorship. I reached out to one of the old people at the networking event that I went to. You know, I said to him, I, this, this other guy, John Gab, And I said to him, John, you know, I need help planning out things for my marketing agency. I've actually got all of these calls and every step of this thing recorded as well, right? So if you guys think I'm somebody that's here to sell a fucking course, right? I'm here to do some other things or with some hidden agenda, it's not. I've documented every step of the way, right? So I just want to put that in there for, for those of you guys that think I'm some other internet guru. Everything's documented, right? I'm recorded and it's inside of the side of the club, link in the description, I'm completely for free, by the way, if you want to look at that journey. I took these calls, I've got a beard, I'm wearing a vest. I'm not really taking it seriously, but then I got mentorship. I've done videos on this. I'm not going to go over it again, but I got mentorship. He gave me the step-by-step -step blueprint. So now it's super easy, super easy. I just wake up every day. I do the same thing. I wake up, meditate, work out, you know, obviously go out for a jog and stuff like that. Listen to podcasts like Andy Fisella, Ed Milet, work on my manifestation. I keep going over that book that, that Malone said to read. So I'm going over that. But and I'm saying now I'm going to inspire others now. Now I'm like, now I know what I'm doing. I've got this blueprint. I'm going to show others that it is possible. And then I'm going to inspire other people at Bugsy Minute. I'm going to do a podcast at Bugsy Minute. I'm going to show these people that, look, it's possible. I'm going to do it all over again. And this is mad because at that time, B Malone said that he's going to do acting. And now, obviously, you guys can see they've got a full-blown acting career, which is ridiculous, first of all. I rate that. That's when I set my intentions. And guess what, guys? I went and done it, right? I achieved the 10K per month. After I set my goals, right, I took the actions, I did everything, I achieved that in a few months, right? A few weeks of, of John Gann's mentorship and a few months of hard work, did it, right? I had the interviews with Iman Gaji, did that. 
e-commerce investor. I've got 40 private investments in my own portfolio. Did it, right? Tesla, for some reason, I don't know why. It must, it must not be the right time yet. I have never been in a country. Penthouse in Birmingham, right? With Ecom King. If you guys don't know about that, shout out Ecom King. Uh, he really helped me on my journey as well. So many people helped me on my journey, but Birmingham did it. Penthouse did it, right? Partner. The ideal person that I wrote down DM me, right? Ridiculous. I, I've been with her now for the past few years. Ups and downs, of course, but the ideal person I wrote down did it. The presence that I wanted to become, I became, right? I wrote down, I'm going to inspire other people. I'm going to show other people a path to nine to five. I now guarantee people, guaranteed, that they'll quit their nine to five in 90 days or I'll continue working with them for free. Talk to me. Guaranteed, right? I wrote this down years ago. I just wanted this to be an inspiration. As a Ties Talks, I wanted to dedicate this Ties Talks and my move to YouTube from Snapchat. You guys might see this video, might not have loads of views, but I inspire a shit ton of people. I get millions of views on Snapchat. And it all started simply by writing these things down, writing down who I wanted to become, committing myself to these things, making sacrifices, going into isolation and taking action. You know, I'm becoming that person. And if you're watching this right now, and you want to achieve your goals, you're lost. You keep finding yourself getting into negative feedback groups. You keep finding yourself back at the position you don't want to be. Just start small. Watch the Bugs Malone interview. Listen to what he says. Don't just put it on and fuck off. Listen to what the Donny says. Take notes. Write it down for yourself. And take action, my friend. And this isn't a one-time commitment. Just know, full disclaimer, once you do that, you've committed yourself to a lifetime of action. I didn't know when I wrote Legacy, that I would have to do this every day, right? <laughs> I didn't know. Even though in my brain, the ideal person was like traveling, doing pink clothes on the beach, da da da, da. Obviously, that's what I do. I still do that now. But because I wrote down Legacy, that ties me into a lifetime of commitment of doing this types of thing. And guess what? I love it. That's the best part. I fucking love this. And it gives me a purpose. And you guys should know, if you're around anybody that has no purpose, be very afraid of them. Be very afraid of those people because anybody without a purpose is a danger to society, a problem to society, right? They have nothing to care for. They have nothing to lose, right? You need to give yourself a purpose. You need to give yourself something to lose. And if you take these actions, guys, this will be possibly the best action that you take. It will lead you on a journey for the rest of your life, an amazing journey. You'll achieve all the things you want. You'll know that all you have to do is write something down and take the actions to achieve it, whatever it is. You could write down billionaire. You can become it as long as you write down that, go into meticulous detail on how you're going to do and what you're going to do and proper brain, proper game plan it and write your movie. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope this inspires you to start on your journey too. I'm looking forward to seeing you, your guys' growth and the endless possibilities of the things that you could achieve. This has been a story of how Bugsy Malone was a big player in changing my life. I know I'm going to meet the man and uh, hopefully I can uh, repay him back. Or maybe this is how I do it. No, I don't know how it plays out. But all I do know is that in the past, what, four years, I've became somebody that I am proud to be. I became somebody that if I went back and looked at myself, I'd be proud to be this person. So as always, guys, thank you very much for the video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join the Discord channel below. Peace.